How you doing? This is John from John's Long Box, and today I'm showcasing Usagi Yojimbo, issue 16, IDW, 399. This is the most recent issue. This is by uh, Stan Sakai, and uh, I'm coincidentally recording it on his birthday. Okay. There's an alternate cover by John Simmons. There's the cover. Okay. Uh, colorist, his his uh, Tom Luth was his longtime colorist. He he retired. Stan Sikai put a, a a big thank you to him in the last issue, which was nice. He's supposedly the nicest guy in, in comics. But this is about a this is Tengu War Part One. Okay, as you can see, it's you know he's a werewolf, a Tengu. Jap it's this is set in like mythical feudal, feudal Japan. Um, interspersed with uh, a lot of history and they'll explain the history in, in the letters pages with the uh, nice essays and articles explaining everything this is a particularly magic issue with this werewolves and Tengu battling it out but uh, it, it usually doesn't have too much magic in it this this story being an exception here he is here's the main character this is Usagi Yojimbo which translates as a uh, rabbit bodyguard but he is a ronin he's a masterless samurai the his uh his samurai uh, his his master was was killed and then he, he just wanders feudal japan you know just just getting into adventures and uh he's they never explained the scar on his head but he has a scar and he's just a master fighter and the, you saw that this tengu is one of his one of his trainers when when he was young before he went into service taught him how to fence but I just just love the artwork the, the, the backgrounds the design uh, Stan Sukai he I first noticed him as he was the uh, the colorist for uh, or the letterer excuse me he was the letterer for uh, Gru the Wanderer another comic I'll be showcasing in the future so that was and then uh, in Gru the Wanderer they, they said you got to pick up uh, Usagi Ojimbo and then I picked it up just because I love Gru the Wanderer and I've been reading this I since bought all the back issues I, I, I be, this is the comic I look forward to every month it's just so so good uh, he went on hiatus for like a year while his, his wife was succumbing to cancer and that was that was very sad and then when he came he came back with the new number one started over again I, you can understand that but he, he this is his this is stance nobody tells him what to do this is his creation his story he was born in America, raised in America of, of Japanese heritage, and then went and uh, learned everything he could about J Japan. And just, just, it's it's kind of like teaching you about a uh, Japanese folklore, mythology, and history in in, in one comic. Uh, like I didn't know anything about the the uh, the grass cutter stories about the the, the sword, the the, the 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 first emperors, and 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 I he they would have stories based on those, and then. Uh, the real history in the, in the, in the and an article in the back of the comic and then I would go and read up on get books and you know, go online and read up uh, just so much you know I, I was always into uh, Norse mythology and Greek mythology and then Stan Sakai got me to, to learn and appreciate Japanese mythology and folklore something I knew nothing about until I started reading these comics so th this is a, a, a comic that that I, is very near and dear to me this this is the most recent issue I, I could, I, you know, my collection's still a jumbled mess. I'm building shelves to organize it. And so I'll pull out more classic uh, Usagi Yojimbo stories. Uh, some of them will break your heart. They're, they're, they're just so good. But, uh, like, all the characters have such great stories. They, they return. This is a brand new character. This is only a second appearance. He debuted last issue. But uh, all, all the characters, he, he'll come back and they grow and age and you know, years will go by and they'll fill you in on the stories. And You know, it's like revisiting old friends. I, I, I have like a, a big affection for this, just like I have a big affection for uh, for Love and Rockets. And then everything you read about uh, Stan Takai, he, he's just supposedly the, the most charming, most pleasant guy in on, on all of comics. Just just a humble, decent fellow. And he is next month goofing on Frank Frazetta next month. And then you see... This is what I'm talking about. There'll be like an essay in the last couple of pages by uh, actual historians talking about the, uh, you know, the, his stories will be based on, on something 
of folklore or something of mythology or something of history and then he'll wander through the through the actual history you know making it a little bit more fantastic and then uh the last page will give you the actual history so uh, I, I i can't recommend this this enough if you uh new to usagi or jimbo i mean it's you know they call it funny animal but you know you, you just just don't expect uh you know the some people are dogs some people are are are, are, are cats some people are bats some people are, are are giraffes you know it's it's just the way it is you know if that bothers you then then move on but just accept it move on and uh animals are anthropomorphic you know that that's that and that to me was was a, a barrier to entry at first and I, I got past that and uh i don't even think about it too much anymore until now i was just talking about it it's just the way the comic is and uh it's sword fighting and then when when people die I'll, I'll you see this little this this means this guy was killed he doesn't really show blood and gore that's it's not a blood and gore even though they they show swords usually he does this empty word balloon to show that that's their last gasp and then the skull to to show that they're they're dead and dying it's it's just i i just i just love this you know i can understand if you like classic superhero comics that you wouldn't like this but uh it's one of the comics i look forward to every month you know when when i get it what i usually do is I, the comics that i i, I love I, I just read them right away and this is i i just read it as soon as i get it and then the comics that are like a, a chore to read I, I just let them pile up and pile up here's another person dying okay he's passing out they had a duel and he's missing a hand and he, and they duel if if Usagi was to win he would train him and if he was to win he gets Usagi's hand and he won so he owns Usagi he goes oh, I didn't say I was going to cut it off your body I just say I own your hand so it's just a nice way of saying you you owe me a favor uh just just if like I was about to say if if you're interested if this picked your interest I would recommend getting the collected e edition of, of Grass Cutter that is just you know it it teaches you so much about a the emperor of japan a lot some factual history some some of the legends and then a lot of mythology it's, it's everything all rolled into one through these characters you know so it, it's it's just wonderful and i i can't say enough good things about stan sakai uh i could ramble on and on and gush and gush for for a half hour but i think i said all i, I need to say this is just one of my favorite comics i have every issue Oh, I will say that the the first run I think was Fantagraphics, and it was a uh, black and white, and then I think they moved on to Mirage, which was owned by uh, Eastman and Lard, the guys that did uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or was or yeah Mirage, and that was in color, and that was like weird for me because I was used to it being in black and white, and then after that, that only went like sixteen or so issues, and he, they went to Dark Horse for a while. And uh, that was a long run. And then this 16-issue run is uh, is with IDW. That's the, that's the, he was with Image for a while. So this, this comic came out from a bunch of different companies. I think this is now the uh, fifth series, if I'm... Okay, let me see if it says so in the... First printing. It doesn't. It doesn't tell you which series, what number series it is, but this is the IDW run. Uh, it's been going on for for twenty years, at least. But uh, they, he does a good job of introducing you when when the characters come back through the dialogue. You 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 will know, you'll know what's going on. It's it's very newbie friendly, um, and that that's all I got to say about uh, Usagi Ujimbo. Okay, this is uh, John's long box. Please like, please comment. Please subscribe and thank you to all the new subscribers. There's been a nice, nice jump in subscribers in the past couple of days. Thank you so much. Bye bye.